So why is the moon rock tastier than the earth rock? Because it's meteor. <laughs> Get it? Meteor. Meteor. Shocking. Perfect. So it looks like the Air Max One is lining up to have another solid year this year. And this pair might just be one of the reasons why. It is of course the Air Max One Crepe Soft Grey. Now 2022 was the Air Max 1's 35th anniversary and this year they're not slowing down. We had some amazing GR pairs last year and some even more amazing collaborations which definitely for a lot of people revived the love for the Air Max 1 and I have to put myself in that as well. But in terms of releases one of the standout pairs for me was the Air Max 1 Crep Hemp. Nike retro in that sneaker got so many people talking and dare I say it this colorway might be giving that pair a run for its money. Set to release in a couple days of recording this video on the 24th of February this pair is actually meant to retail for under the price of the Crep Hemp. On the sneakers app these are loaded for £152.95 which is actually not too bad. From what I can remember the Crep Hemp actually retailed for £165. And yes you could argue the materials and that sort of jazz but for me this pricing sits about right. But before we touch on the box I will leave some purchase links down below as well. So hopefully you can grab yourself a pair on release. Now in terms of the box it is of course a GR so it does come in that red standard Nike box. No extra laces or any other goodies to talk about. The product sticker though does say Nike Air Max 1 Premium and the official colorway is soft grey and neutral grey. Now from what I'm hearing there was actually a shock drop on a Nike sneakers app in the US but there was nothing like that unfortunately in the UK. Now after fees and all of that stuff I paid around 180 on the resale market just to get these in early so I can't really complain too much. Now, of course if you're thinking about getting these on release you might be thinking about how these fit. Now yes I did go half a size down to what I'm used to with the Air Max 1 and I'll be honest it was because they were so much more cheaper but in a way I'm kind of glad I did. The materials on the upper are so much softer than the crepe hemps. The crepe hemps weren't bad by any means but this pair is so buttery. Don't get me wrong it might be harder to keep this sneaker's shape than the crepe hemps but in terms of sizing these do fit actually pretty big. Although I will say this my feet are more on the narrower side so I guess for someone like me I can get away with half a size down but if I had to do it again I would probably go true to size. But the best advice I can possibly say whatever Air Max 1 size you go with I'd say stick to that. Now just like I played left back for Manchester United I'm pretty sure <laughs> Luke Shaw left back United no let it go bruh let it go but with all the bad jokes aside let's take an up close and personal look I've got to say these are way nicer in hand and on foot than any picture no picture or leaked images could do this sneaker justice now the name in itself soft grey yes it makes me the opposite when I look at the sneaker but they hit the nail on the head with the name the materials are so buttery smooth it's a very standard Air Max 1 in terms of the actual shape but the overlays do come in this soft suede got that amazing two-tone look to it where you brush it one way it looks different compared to the other the toe box area though which is interesting because this lighter shade of grey is sort of like a canvas and it therefore looks like these are going to hold up so much better than the crepe hemps. Now we've got that tumbled leather look to the Nike swooshes and it adds such a nice contrast. Now we've got these flat rope laces here which work so well. Now I'm probably going to do what most people will do with this pair and swap them out for a nice cell pair of laces. Maybe even white would work. Now we've got that canvas tongue here in that same shade of grey as the toe box with the subtle Nike Air Max tag in that darker shade of grey. We've got that cotton sock liner here but the insole is in that darker shade of grey with the Nike Air at the back. The premium suede does return here to the ankle collar and also the heel counter and thankfully the iconic Nike Air does return here. Now we have a slight yellow tint to the midsole and I'm kind of glad they didn't overdo it but on the Air unit it does actually have a white tint. Now one of the reasons I really like this shoe and of course it's that crepe outsole. Some people don't like it and some people love it and I therefore fall into the category of love it. For me it just adds a different spin to the Air Max 1. Right broskies I know a lot of people's answers already but now's the time to decide together whether these are a buy 
or a buy. Now I'm not just saying this just because I'm excited because I've just gotten, but honestly, this is one of the best Air Max ones we've ever had. And not even recent drops, I'm talking ever. And I might be a little bit biased because one of my favorite colors is gray. But 50 shades aside, I'm very excited to see what the Air Max one has in store this year. I posted up on my Instagram some rumored releases coming this year and I'm just waiting and I'm praying for that big bubble release. OG colorway rumored to drop on Air Max day. I just cannot wait. But going back to the soft gray, this is defo a future classic in my opinion. And it's pretty mad that we're getting this sneaker this early. But I guess with spring right around the corner, it's the perfect time. I can't fault this sneaker one bit. Yes, the shape might be a little tricky to keep intact, but if you're stuffing well enough, then it's all good. I'm definitely giving this Air Max one soft gray an absolute Bye. But broskies, comment down below and let me know what you think. Does it look like another solid year for the Air Max 1? And is this soft grey a must cop? Leave it all down below and I will pin the best comments. Anyways broskies, I am going to love you and leave you there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And till the next episode, take care. You absolute lemon. <laughs>